Hello, my wonderful practice friends. There has been so much for us to grieve in this season, but the inability to see your smiling faces, to look across the chapel and see you, to worship with you, to pray with you, to rest in the loving presence of Jesus with you, and to receive communion with you, well, that's right at the top of my list of things to grieve. I miss you so much. And this is hard for me because not only do I miss you, but I believe with all my heart that the church is supposed to be an embodied incarnational community. Church is far more than disseminating content. We don't watch church, we participate in it together. So the online version of the practice has been particularly hard for me. I wonder if you can relate. And then that being said, I'm also convinced that resuming a large person gathering uh, in person, indoors, is not only unwise, but it's not loving. And while a highly contagious virus with no vaccine or cure is infecting hundreds of people a day in our state, gathering a hundred or more people together to sing indoors particularly would not be loving our neighbors. It's hard, but I believe that we can hold these two things in tension. I hate not gathering. I long for the day when we'll be back together again. And I believe that gathering virtually is the loving thing to do right now. So I trust and I know that God will meet and has been meeting with us in our virtual gatherings. I don't know when we're going to be able to meet again and not knowing that's hard too, but it seems pretty clear that our dispersed gatherings will be continuing for the rest of this year at least. We may have some opportunities to gather in person outdoors, but for the most part, we'll be dispersed for the rest of this year. But there may be an opportunity for us in this space to still worship together on Sunday nights in community. And so I would love to introduce to you an idea that I'm really excited about and we're, we're calling this Practice Together. We would like to invite you, if you are comfortable, to gather with a couple of people you know to participate in our worship gatherings together on Sunday nights. And now, I want to name a couple of realities that are very important in this. First, I know that there are a number of people in our community who just simply are not ready for this yet. For various reasons, you may not feel comfortable worshiping even with someone you know well. And that makes a ton of sense to me. And if that's you, please know there is absolutely no pressure to participate in practice together. We'll still be sharing the practice on Facebook and YouTube Live. You can continue to participate in worship from your home. There is absolutely no pressure whatsoever. Second, we will need to be creative in the way you, we come together. Outside is always the best, so could you figure out how to gather outdoors? Or maybe you'll choose to share a meal and people will bring their own meals. Maybe you'll spend some time after worship talking about how you have been experiencing God in this season or how you have met God in the practice of that night. And then third, there are going to have to be some guidelines. And this is so incredibly important to me. These guidelines are about loving one another by keeping our friends safe. So here they are. And forgive me for being so blunt, but these guidelines are non-negotiable. Number one, uh, indoor gatherings will have to be kept to 10 or fewer people. And they need to maintain an appropriate distance, so we'll have to stay six feet apart at all times. Number two, if you're sick, uh, if you have been in contact with someone who has been sick, whether they have a positive COVID test or not in the last 14 days, you do not participate in person. Number three, not everyone who participates wears a face mask for the entire gathering. Now I know that there are a lot of opinions about masks, but we are going to demonstrate our love for our brothers and sisters by wearing a mask. Number four, communion will be received in individual servings. I know that this is a hard shift for us, uh, but once again, we are doing this because we want to love one another by being cautious and safe. We have prepackaged elements, and frankly, I would love nothing more than to have an excuse to come to your house and drop some off at your home so that you can use these with some friends or family. And so then, finally, if you are comfortable, would 
you consider who you might practice together with in this season. And it may be someone you know from the practice, or maybe there is a neighbor, a friend, or a family member who you're being invited to welcome in. And so if you feel comfortable, would you listen for who God may be inviting you to share with this sacred, to share this sacred space with? And so as I bring this time to a close, could I offer you a brief blessing? May you abide in the presence of Jesus. May the life of Jesus fill you and produce fruit. May you overflow with love and be known to the world as an apprentice of Jesus.